These days, it seems like more people are seriously considering the prospect of going to Mars. NASA has already sent five unmanned rovers to explore the red planet. In recent years, the mega-rich like Richard Branson, Jeff Bezos, and Elon Musk have been in a race to space and their next frontiers could be terraforming Mars. Jeff Bezos actually has a vision of humans living in massive space colonies well beyond Earth, and Elon Musk has his own plans of letting humans live on Mars, making humanity a multi-planet species. NASA is also keeping up. It has the Artemis program, which in the future will send people to Mars as well. As of now, we still know the red planet to be, well, red. It's like a desert full of dust and rocks. NASA scientists think there might be frozen water there, but the question remains. How will life be like on Earth's next door solar system neighbor? Let's find out. A house on Mars. To live a decent life on the red planet, you can't just build a house like the one you have on Earth. The surface and atmosphere on Mars are both so different from those here, so the structures which will house humans should be appropriate to the red planet. That's exactly what AI Space Factory, an architecture firm based in New York, has created. The company took on a challenge by NASA to build a 3D printed habitat capable of supporting life on Mars. After lots of design refinement, AI Space Factory successfully 3D printed a one-third scale model of a Mars habitat, which the company calls Marsha. It took the 3D printer a total of 30 hours to complete. Marsha garnered first prize in the 2019 NASA 3D Printed Habitat Challenge. Marsha was designed specifically to address the constraints of building a habitat on Mars. This sort of structure can't be built using Earth materials. Otherwise, the materials have to be shuttled to Mars, which would cost astronomically larger than the habitat itself. Instead, Marsha can be built using materials readily available on the surface of the red planet. Only the 3D printing robot needs to be transported to Mars. Marsha is made from crushed basalt and plant-based bioplastics. The basalt can be extracted from Martian rocks, while the plants, where the bioplastics come from, can be planted and grown on the Martian surface. The resulting material is very strong and can be loaded as a substrate into a 3D printer. The material can protect against radiation and extreme temperatures, which are huge challenges to living on the red planet. Building Materials from Mars AI Space Factory says that using materials found on Mars is the only viable option in building dwellings there. A journey to Mars from Earth takes nine months, so ferrying materials from Earth will take way too long, not to mention the extremely high price of interplanetary shipping. Using Martian materials also makes a lot of sense for repairs. Let's say your house on Mars has a hole in a wall. Well, to fix it, there's no hardware store you can easily run to for bricks or concrete. You'll have to use Mars rocks. Otherwise, that hole in the wall will stay for a long while. A house on Mars has to be really hardy, as doing repairs there isn't exactly convenient. According to David Mallet, CEO of AI Space Factory, you need to build something which is more robust, shockproof, able to withstand the elements, and much more durable. He also mentions a movie called The Martian, where an astronaut, played by Matt Damon, encounters big problems with his Mars habitat. If he had waited for someone from Earth to help him, he wouldn't have survived. So he had to fix things all by himself. To avoid something like that, Mallet says that inflatable structures like those in sci-fi movies should not be used. Instead, the better alternative is a structure that can be 3D printed from Mars rocks. Egg House Marsha is not like your typical suburban home. For one, it's not rectangular and it doesn't have a triangular roof either. It's also not a dome structure that's common in many sci-fi movies. Instead, the design team of AI Space Factory settled on what it deemed the most structurally efficient form, an egg shape. They took inspiration from the egg shell, which can be really thin but still really strong, strong enough to hold the growing embryo inside. Thus, they can create Marsha with less material while maintaining a durable structure. The eggshell shape is also useful in addressing the pressure differences between the inside of the structure and the Martian atmosphere outside. 
The atmosphere of the red planet is incredibly thin. It's about 98% less dense than the atmosphere here on Earth, with a pressure of 0.095 pounds per square inch, or PSI. For comparison, the atmospheric pressure at sea level here on Earth is about 14.7 PSI. Humans can't survive breathing the thin air of the Martian atmosphere. For that reason, the inside of Martia has to be pressurized to about 14.7 PSI. With that much pressure inside relative to what's outside, the structure will tend to bulge outward. If the design isn't right, Marsha will explode outwards like a balloon pumped with too much air. To avoid the case of an exploding house on Mars, the design team went with a double-walled structure. Now, This gives room for inhabitants to breathe while preventing the house from expanding outwards. As a bonus, the double-walled design improves insulation from heat, and Marsha is also equipped with a skylight on top which illuminates the inside of the structure quite well. Life inside an egg. Marsha is designed for astronauts, so it has laboratories as well as living spaces. Each egg-shaped structure is composed of four floors. The first floor has a wet lab for research, as well as a preparation area for astronauts to suit up before heading out. The second floor has a kitchen and a dry lab. The third floor houses a garden and bathrooms, known here as sanitation pods, as well as the bedrooms, which are actually just small semi-enclosed sleeping pods. Finally, the top floor is a recreation area equipped with TVs and exercise machines. And then on top of that is the skylight filled with water. Now this allows the light to filter down through the structure. A winding staircase connects each of the floors. The interior of Marsha is full of curved designs, which makes the space feel more organic. This is a world of difference from something like the International Space Station, whose insides are full of clean angles and straight lines. In contrast, the inside of Marsha feels very futuristic. There is no actual Marsha yet, though. What AI Space Factory has created is just that scale model. It'll take time before a real Marsha will be built on the Red Planet. A glimpse of life on Mars. AI Space Factory has also made a replica of Marsha right here on Earth. It's called Terra, and it's designed a lot like Marsha, complete with the egg-shaped structure and the 3D printed shell. Much like its Mars-bound twin, Terra is also designed to be built from sustainable materials found on Earth. The structure is made of basalt and a biopolymer derived from corn, or sugarcane. This material, according to AI Space Factory, is 50% stronger than steel, but unlike steel, it can be composted. One of the goals of Terra is to be a proof of concept for sustainable construction. Terra can prove that buildings can be more eco-friendly. Construction doesn't have to depend on materials that can't be recycled. In 2019, AI Space Factory opened Terra to members of the public. They launched an Indiegogo campaign to let people book a night to stay in a Terra being built in New York at the time. The price range was $175 to a whopping $500 per night. The habitat was scheduled to open in March of 2020, but the COVID-19 pandemic set it back. AI Space Factory has not yet announced a reopening of the Terra habitat, perhaps after the pandemic is under control, whenever that will be. Making Mars more habitable for Earthlings is a huge leap for humanity to take. Terraforming Mars is a lofty dream and it may take eons, but building a home on Mars, which mimics our homes on Earth, is easier. All AI Space Factory has to do is launch its 3D printing robots to the Red Planet. If they hurry, they can probably catch perseverance and ingenuity doing their jobs, and NASA will be in for a nifty surprise. Robots building egg-shaped structures on Mars. But this time, it won't be the work of aliens, it will be the work of humans.